maneuverable. Quite remarkable for its time. Good solid aircraft. The Hawker Hurricane was a fighter plane that was quite significant to both the Royal Air Force and the Royal Canadian Air Force. First flew in November of 1935 and it had a tremendous reputation throughout World War II serving in virtually every theatre of the war. It's a classic aircraft because it fought in major battles and it came at the beginning of the 1930s when there was a revolution in aircraft manufacturing. The first years of the war. It was a first line fighter. It's a sort of in-between aircraft, in between the First World War wood and fabric and the later all metal aircraft. An airplane potentially able to slightly bit a nose down and some power on could approach 400 miles an hour that's still built out of wood and fabric. It became a start of a new era of fighter planes, both for the Royal Air Force in England and for Canada, of course. In 1934-35, when the hurricane was designed, it was a state of the art. It was really an airplane from two eras. It was, it was the continuation of a design of airplane that was once a biplane, basically. To address a Royal Air Force specification, they turned that into a single wing plane, a monoplane, but with the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. The Royal Air Force was flying biplanes, fabric aircraft with two wings, and suddenly the era of the one-wing monoplane arrived, an aircraft that was very aerodynamic, very sleek, very fast, with guns in its wings, and that was new. And people around the world in different countries were looking at this new prototype of aircraft. It was the first monoplane fighter, meaning single wing, with retractable undercarriage where the wheels would come up, and it was very heavily armed as well. Because it was a monoplane, it was significantly faster than the previous biplanes. Biplanes could manage something in the 200 mile an hour range. Suddenly the Hawker Hurricane comes along and you're well past 300 miles an hour with this airplane. It would have represented over 100 miles an hour in a speed advantage and as the first monoplane fighter, it's considered to be for the Royal Air Force and the Royal Canadian Air Force, the first modern fighter of the era. 